Parkwoods.com. This is Horribly Off Topic, episode number 203. I'm Chris. And I'm Steve, and we just had a false start. We we did. We, we, uh, you ever had a false start with, with a lady? Yeah. Is, is I got it kind of like that? I got a five-yard penalty. <laughs> <laughs> But it, but it was not but a uh, delay a game no no false start well I know but did, 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 well I I was trying to, I, I was mixing I was mixing football metaphors no it, you, you, the, the the game was not delayed you just got a five yard penalty no I, <laughs> I a delay of game is the opposite of a false start no oh, oh is it basically I I did not I didn't think about that I guess you're right I guess I, guess, I mean I know what a delay a game is and I know what a false start is but I I guess I didn't think about them being opposites like a false start uh, would be on the defense no false start would be on the offense and then offsides would be on the defense on the defense so, yeah so starting before the ball is or one of the players on the offense yeah goes across the line of scrimmage right before the ball is spiked or fucking it snapped snapped whatever mm-hmm. they fucking call it yeah you call it snapped you you snap the ball but you know you know paula abdul said it and mc scat cat uh, said it best opposites attract so a false start and a, and a delay a game i mean maybe maybe not in football but uh i think in, in the bedroom could be could be related no i think that would be horrible like if 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 like the fella mm-hmm. finishes too soon yeah and the lady doesn't finish at all. Oh, what, so what would that be? Would that be a uh, would that be a delay of, that, a delay of game? I that suppose. would be a delay of game. Okay. If, you, we're, it, if you're going to make a hold on, there's a little moisture on here. Okay. Now let me ask you this, Steve. There, there, there is a there is a lady on your television screen. Lady. There is a lady on your television screen, and when I when I walked in to, to this here room and I and I saw the lady on the television screen, I said to to Becky, who was in here at the time, and I, I, said, wasn't, and I wasn't. I said. Um, that she looked, uh, she looked happy, and and Becky said, "Does she?" And and I wonder, like, do you think that this lady has ever dealt with a false start or a delay of game? If if you take my okay, name. so you don't have to work in what we were talking about before. You can actually talk about what you want to talk about. No, about I, that's, I, that's what I want to talk about. I'm I'm just saying, like, you know. Is she content? I, I thought she looked content. Maybe I'm looking here now. I know, don't she, think it's ever a problem if a woman comes too quickly. No, but I... I no, no. Unless I, they're I, the kind of person... Unless the unless they when they come, they're like, I can't have sex anymore. Okay. Yes, then that could be a problem. Um, no, no, no. I... I I'm just I, I'm looking at her face at, at this at this young woman's face, and I, I can't decide is she happy? Like is she happy or did the guy just a uh, false start? Um, no, see she's on Match.com. Oh, okay. This, this is what the ad is for. I did not know. You can text sure. free to three three eight nine eight for seven days free. Seven days free uh, with, with with this young. Here's woman, your free or? plug Match.com. Okay, uh, but so so she. Uh, for the people who can't see the picture of this young woman right now, it, where it's where it's freeze framed on your TV, uh, she is. Uh, she's I want kinda, you to describe her. I, I well, she's uh, use she, use your creative writing skills to describe this woman that's on the television. Well, I want to describe her her smile in particular, um, or lack thereof. So she's she's kind of um, it looks like she might be smiling, but she's kind of uh, her her top teeth are exposed she might be sort of biting the corner of her lip um uh you know like like she could be you know trying to entice you to get seven days free on match.com or she could be kind of saying oh you guys you you already finished and 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 it's just an ad on hulu it Um, is an ad on hulu (laughs) you know uh you already finished because you were watching pickle rick (laughs) yeah and 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 you're you're netflix and chilling with your with your uh with yourself your bad self because you can't you, you, I don't know I just gotta know Chris have you jerked off to something recently that was just on television no I haven't jerked off recently so oh, you haven't I, I have thought not. you had your your pay site I but I, I okay so here's here's I mean I'm this gonna is, shut the TV off we don't have to look at it this is maybe well you mentioned that she had we will have to come back to this she does have strawberry blonde hair and, and that that was the thing we were going to talk about Oh, okay, because you do you are partial to redheads. I am partial. To Is redheads. that why you thought she was happy? I maybe, maybe I'm just predisposed to think that redheads are happy. She's got a lot of bric-a-brac in the back of her apartment. Yes, there there is quite a bit of uh, it, it's a combination of DVDs and and books. 
Uh, she's got a fan of the opera mask. Is that a fan oh, of the wow. opera mask? Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe. Or is that a... If you weren't married, geez, Chris, she'd be perfect a, for is you. Is that a skull? It's probably both. Yeah. I'm turning the TV off. Okay. Bye, lady. Um, uh, uh, no, I have not. I have not um, jerked off to anything recently, including my pay site. So you should get rid of your pay site. Or did you pay for like a year? I paid for like a year. Oh my God, Chris! What? what? In, okay, but here's when I will need it again. All right, so I uh, during mornings when I would have to go into work late after everyone was out of the house um, and before my dad came back from um, uh, from his bus run, that's when prime masturbation time was. Um, and I don't have that anymore because I get up uh, before... You should just get Amazon Prime Masturbation. <laughs> it is Prime Day. It is Prime it Day. It is Prime Day. Do <laughs> you think they've got a, they got a discount Here's on... Here's a free, free plug for Amazon today. Do they have a discount on, on Prime Masturbation? Probably. Hmm. I wonder if you can get a... Um, a flesh, uh, flesh pot? No, flesh, uh, fleshlight. I wonder if you can get a fleshlight on, uh, on Amazon. Why don't you look it up? I, I don't, I'm not connected to your internet. Oh, so, darn. Um, I can I, get, you can get you the Wi-Fi password. I, I mean, I can, I can look it up on my phone. Yeah, um, that's a good idea. That is, that's a great idea. Make sure you um, do it in not safe search. <laughs> um, oh, I, that, yeah, I probably should not, uh, use the Amazon app because then the next time I go on Amazon, people are, are gonna. Do, do uh, you and Stephanie share an Amazon account? Well, I'm the only one with an Amazon account. Oh, she doesn't have she an doesn't, Amazon? Yeah, she doesn't. Nobody in my house just does anything online except for me. So, What? Uh, Your kids are always on their iPads. I mean, but if they want to buy stuff, like, yeah, I have the Amazon account. I have the, uh, the, the, um. What if, like, I mean, like, that's weird. Because, like, what if, like, Steph wanted to get you something, like, through, um, through Amazon? She wouldn't. She, she, she doesn't. Uh, oh, my goodness. Do, um, do oh they? my god! Oh my gosh! They have dildos oh, at no, least. No, no, no. Can I see? Okay. Uh, yes, you can see. I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mention. So your search contains adult items which have been hidden. Show all results. Okay. So I didn't do that. I will do that in a second. But just. Uh, just. What so are some of the things that were shown that that were shown that are not adult products? Um, Shibari Premium Personal Lube Water Based Lube Eight Eight Ounce Bottle. Um, Flesh Lube Eight Ounce Lubricant. Um, there's Fleshlight Lube, uh, a variety of Fleshlight Lubes. Okay, you don't have to list every lube. Um, there's a Sweet sha- sweet Shaven Angels hardcover. Um, what? Sweet Shaven Angels hardcover book. Is it like an art book of, uh, a, um, a, pu- it, it, a pussy art book? Well, I mean, it's, it, you can see, um... Yeah, I will show you. I that. mean, there's a fine line between art and pornography. How, how would you how would you describe that book cover? Um, I imagine it's a, it's a, it's it's erotica. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, M- Mikhail Paramanov. All right, ch- um, all right. But here's the thing that I wanted. Um, uh, so there's a Men in Black flashlight. Uh, oh, nice. That's, that's an uh, from the movie. Uh, that's an app for Android. There's an inflatable Judy doll, which okay. Who's Judy? Um, Judy is the your sort of standard uh, blow up doll. Oh, that's wouldn't, wouldn't, you, wouldn't you describe that as like your standard blow up doll? Yeah. Okay. I don't but, see any Orify though. But here is the really scary thing: Loftus International Blonde and Beautiful Woman Super Soft Mask Novelty Item. Oh, good. I just want you to take a look at this. And not have nightmares. Yummy, 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 <laughs> yummy, yummy pizza. What the fuck is that? <laughs> that is, that is creepy as shit. Is it not? <laughs> that is, I, I don't. I, I, yummy, yummy, <laughs> yummy, yummy pizza. Right. So let's just see. Um, show all results. Um, yes, as a matter of fact, you can get the uh, Zimalia. Male Masturbators, Sex Toys, 3D Realistic Vagina, and Mouth Masturbator from Zimalia. That's not Uh, a fleshlight, though. No, but it it looks exactly like a fleshlight. It is Amazon Prime's bestseller. Wow. Uh, Then you can go down... Of all time? (laughs) Then you can go down into the actual fleshlights from Fleshlight. Uh, But yes, apparently you can get uh, fleshlights, and they are eligible for Prime. See, I don't... like. I I really don't understand the idea of of a masturbator... Like, uh, like I understand for a woman, like it makes sense. A vibrator, uh, a, a, a vibrator, <laughs> yeah. A vibrator for a woman makes sense, but yeah. not a not a uh, quote unquote pocket pussy. Yeah, it doesn't. It like you, you, your hand can easily 
do what you what needs to be done yeah or or a, another hand a digit in, inside the keister if that's if that's, if that's your thing if that's your thing yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not. I, I I don't disagree with you, but I think. Um, or like, but I I do I do think that like if a guy likes a little, little more than a than a finger in the keister, then than a than a vibrator or, or a dildo yeah. or whatever would be good. Yeah. But like the the pocket pussy thing just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You got to clean it, Steve. I mean, oh. and I may, maybe most men don't. Uh, but I but I think the idea is that you clean it. Yeah. That that and that's what like you know. I think I think very early on in the show we talked to, we had that episode where I was like I'm done with women blah blah, blah. I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. get a fucking sex doll <laughs> yes we and, did and uh, it was like episode two or three yeah that was that was uh, but uh, you know practically it's it's not something that you could you could you could do and like it's 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 gross like. Do you, like this fucking eighty pound thing that you're just <laughs> filling up with jizz, and then you have to take the fucking the kitchen sprayer and yeah, get it up in there get up, so get you get all the there. come out. Yeah, I mean you gotta you gotta. You, well, I mean, but maybe or unless you have the, one of the shower heads that can get in there. So I, I th- imagine that would be a little better. Maybe it should be a requirement for for certain dudes um, that they that uh, they as um, uh, not punishment, but. For dudes who have committed, um, maybe not even crimes, but but a harassment, I guess harassment can be a crime or is a crime, but dudes who have committed harassment or done nasty things uh, to women, they should be required to clean uh, the sex dolls and, and fleshlights of other dudes. They don't get to use them because that would, they, they don't get to use them at all. They're they're chemically castrated I, or whatever for being assholes. But then they have to, to clean the pocket pussies and the, and the pussies of the um, of like, the sex dolls. This is this is way too authoritarian for my taste. And and they have to do this so that they understand what, what it must be like for, for 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 the ladies to have to clean out their, their I parts. I think so a that lot they, of guys you know, understand. Mm that what but they're these doing guys don't yeah they do chris they like they, like they, oh, come, I, if I, you I, are I, in like a power situation uh-huh. and you can do shit like that they yeah. understand that they're being shitheads yeah. but they don't fucking care but, but what i'm saying is that we found if we were able to to, to sort of try and convict them in, in a court of law we could this is like as a punishment that they have to be the guys in in the prison who clean out the uh, this is like the, fucking clockwork orange torture shit like this isn't hmm. fucking gonna work but it worked in a clockwork orange. No! <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen it. Watch the fucking movie and then, then talk to me about that's, this. That's, a, that's Kubrick, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It was also a book. Oh, yeah. yeah. With, uh, you could with, read the book I, instead. I could read the book. It would take too long. But, you know. I, I, it takes me a long time to read books. I love books, but it takes me a long it's time not to a, read it's books. It's not an exceptionally long novel, so. Yeah. Well, you know. Um... Do you think that they could make a make a series out of that? Is that what is that one that like uh, like they've done with Atwood's uh, Handmaid's Tale? They can make a series out of. Uh, no, I think the board. film is like he, like he does it. we don't need to like. I was just watching. Um, Red Letter Media did a review of the thing, the which thing. was a remake mm-hmm. of like a nineteen fifties film. Okay. Like so, uh, John Carpenter's The Thing mm-hmm. from I think it was like the early '80s. Yeah. Like it was just one of those marvels of crazy practical effects, as far as like disgusting fucking monster mm-hmm. type shit. And you know, it was just one of those movies that you know was originally like w- was panned by the critics. Mm-hmm. Like it was did did not fare well in the in the uh, in the in the motion picture it didn't it, as far as the uh as far as the theaters go the theatrical theatrical the original theatrical release did not did not do well and it was probably because it was released in the summer and the same summer as like et and mm-hmm. a bunch of other fucking yeah. giant blockbusters which which is you know you could say the same about uhf <laughs> they, they got it all on uhf yeah so the um like the movie like failed and you know, but it, but you know, in retrospect, you know, you know, you know, I said that way too many times. <laughs> I'm just pointing it out. Mm-hmm. It it failed, but in retrospect, it's a great movie. Like okay. watching it, it, it's you know, if you're grossed out by like weird, fucking gross alien things, it's mm. something that you will not enjoy at all. Right. 
but uh, they went and made a remake of it, I think, in 2011, and they talked about it, and like they were going to like pay a homage, 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 fromage. Like they paid some cheese to it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's an early contender. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they paid an homage to they were going to pay an homage to it and use practical effects for mm-hmm. the new one and yeah. like I saw some of the like earlier like ex- things that they were experimenting with and yeah. they actually looked kind of cool yeah but like I guess it was some producer that said no we need to fucking use CG mm. and then the movie just looks like shit because it wasn't good CG and like this it's, is 80s CG? No, this was 2011. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. There wasn't CG in the 80s, really? Uh, no, no. I, I I lost the thread there for a second. So, so yeah, like the movie was just not good. And mm-hmm. it was it was a remake of a remake. Yeah. And, you know. A, a, a snake eating his own tail. Yeah. So it was just bad. So mm-hmm. let, let's not, like, um, that that to bring up my earlier point, mm. let's stop remaking things. We don't need to fucking remake things. Mm. I, I'm I'm with you. I mean, I, I uh, they're remaking She-Ra. I saw uh, the, today. It's a cartoon. Yes. Are they making it into a cartoon? They, it is a cartoon. That's fine. If yeah. as, long, as long as they're not doing a I think fucking Net- movie. I think it's Netflix. Like, um, and it's the same people who did something. I don't know if there's like a He-Man one. I don't know, but it looks it looks cool enough. Fine. Know? Like let, let like that. If you want to reboot TV, that mm. that has a lot. I mean, there's a long history. The people, I guess, like, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm sort of being hypocritical here and I don't like it mm. where I'm okay with them remaking She-Ra, but I'm not okay with them. If, if the thing that was the original thing mm-hmm. was sort of like a massive popular film, mm-hmm. like A Clockwork Orange. Right. Like a, a Kubrick movie, like yeah. if you try to remake that, you're an asshole. If you try to, if remake you are make, if you are remaking uh, a television show that was mm-hmm. based on toys, yeah, I'm less fucking upset. So when Stephen King, I I don't know who the filmmakers were, but when Stephen King and and whatever filmmakers they were redid The Shining, I think they redid it. I, um, I, I think they just did it the way Stephen King wanted it to be done. Right. Um, okay, so you wouldn't consider that a, a remake. That's another adaptation. It's another adaptation, okay. but it's. Does anybody like before us talking about this right mm. now ever talk about that fucking version? I, of the I Shining? don't imagine that they do because lots of people have seen not not me, uh, but lots of people have seen the The Shining. You've never seen the fuck. I, the have only, you seen any Kubrick movie? The only Kubrick. I, we've talked about this. The only Kubrick movie I have seen is Eyes Wide Shut, which is arguably. His worst movie. <laughs> <laughs> we, we somebody somebody could could come up with a a list of like I mean the fact that that's the only Kubrick I've seen the only Seinfeld I've seen is the last episode. Um, you know the uh, you could you could make I mean I'm sure that um, that that people have already made I think we've had an email about this that the reason I didn't like or I still don't really like coffee is that I've never had like real coffee like I. If I just tried the real version of things, I, I if I did it right, I I, I mean I remember much... drinking like Folgers or Maxwell House or whatever. Yeah, the best part B- of waking up. BS like you know grocery store coffee. Yeah, and I drank that and I thought it was eh, mm-hmm. and then I tried espresso. Yeah, like with you know fresh beans and I was mm-hmm. also like eh. Yeah, so. Like it, it does. Like if you don't have a taste for the bad stuff, you probably won't have a taste for the good stuff either. I mean, I, I, I think that's probably true. But I, um, I didn't like wine, and then I had some good wine finally, and now I like wine. I, I like. I still don't like wine. I, I've and had, now I like all I, kinds of wine, including shitty wine. I've had good good wine and bad wine, and I've never developed a taste for it. Yeah. Uh, whereas I still haven't developed a taste for beer. So. so see, like you could have a, a, a can of Gansett mm-hmm. or whatever, and and you could have like the 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 bestest IPA ever that yeah. costs twenty dollars a fucking can. Woodbury IPA. No, I would never make an IPA. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with an IPA? What's what is it? I just I I. I 
a couple of years ago, I think mm. around the time where we started the show, I got burnt out on on hops. Okay. I was like, fuck hops. Like I had uh, like everybody says you got to go try a heady topper, which is a. Uh, oh they, yeah, yeah. They make uh, it up in Vermont. Yeah, I have, I have family who who are uh, are quite fond of it. So yeah, you got to have this. I drank it and I was like, fuck this. I'm yeah. Like it gave me a fucking headache and yeah. I, I did not feel well for the next 24 hours after right. drinking one can of beer. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, maybe I don't maybe I don't like hops as much as I thought I yeah. did. So then after that, I've just kind of been avoid. Like, I'll have an IPA. Mm-hmm. Well, I haven't had one in a couple of months. Anyways, right. I haven't had a beer in a couple of months. But I'll have an IPA if it's what is available. Right, right. Like, as long as it's not one of the, like, the super ultra monkey fist. Like, <laughs> that is a real thing. The super ultra monkey fist. I have to... The, well, monkey fist, I think, is a shipyard. Is, okay. is their IPA. And like they have a, 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 like a double monkey fist, yeah. which is something you really don't want. <laughs> I like the idea of Super Ultra Monkey Fist. Okay. Super mm-hmm. Ultra Monkey Fist. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't want that. Yeah. What? Um, so what's the... What's well, a, watch good movies, Chris, please. I d- <laughs> Stop I d- watching fucking comic book movies for a second I, no, and watch I, a comic Kubrick book movies, film. Uh, comic book movies are my thing. They're my jam. Why should I I understand. I, I, I'm not saying you should be ashamed. Okay. What I'm saying is culture yourself and watch a good film. Like, like what, what counts as a good film? I'm talking about any Kubrick movie that you haven't seen. Okay. Well, that's, that's all but one of them. Yeah. What, like, I mean... Lolita's a little bit slow. Yeah. I uh, I, I, I've read Lolita, and uh, I wasn't in lo- as in love with it as, as many of my, my lit people Young are, teacher. Were. No. <laughs> uh, Boy, Do- that Gordon Doctor Strange well Love is, is, is amazing. Doctor like, Strange? I, Doctor I do Strange love, love. I, I do love Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange Love is amazing. I, I, there's a lot of love for Doctor I, Strange out there. Fuck you. <laughs> Watch Doctor Strange Love. Because it's probably one of his better ones. And that it's, it's like Peter people, Sellers just doing everything. That has people with funny hats? Maybe? No. <laughs> I don't know. The only... The, I, I, no, no. I think, I'm, I think I'm thinking of Clockwork Orange. Is there a guy with a funny hat in that? They do wear funny hats in Clockwork okay. Orange. Right. They Strange wear funny masks in, in the one that I have seen. And they, they all fuck each other. Yeah, they wear masks in, uh, in, in Clockwork Orange as well. Yeah. I hear The Shining is good. Yeah, it's great. Jack Nicholson. Right. Right. And, and Shelley Duvall. There was a picture, and I've got spoilers for The Shining. Okay. Uh, there's a pi- there was a picture of uh, our current vice president and uh, mm-hmm. a bunch of his cronies, I imagine. Yeah. Uh, religious cronies or whatever, mm-hmm. or religious cronies. Or, yeah. No, I already said religious. Uh, <laughs> political cronies or both. Yeah. Column A, column with, B. With, with him, it's probably one of the same. Yeah. So th- he was uh, with with a group of people, and it looked mm. like like I I found the picture. I, I, somebody posted it on Twitter, and I found the picture of uh, of Jack Torrance at the end of uh, the Shine the mm. Shining, and I'm like, looks eerily familiar. <laughs> mm. um, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, I, you know my wife's been watching uh, uh, Handmaid's Tale, which I want to watch. I, I've been I uh, have it on my my list of things. Um, but uh, so I I've, I've been catching bits and, and pieces here and there and um, the bits and pieces I've been catching about the about the world and the uh, the world of that that series and whatnot make me feel like we're we're way too close to that world uh, for me to actually enjoy the the movie at this uh, or the the series. At this so point. maybe hopefully in a couple of years you can <laughs> you can go back and watch it and be and like this it. is dystopian future this is, yeah. not not a couple of years from now future yeah yeah. So it may be a while. I, I got to finish up uh, Westworld. I'm finishing up Westworld. You watch uh, the rest of season, Westworld and then maybe two. check out a Kubrick film or two or three I, or I, all. I, but I might have to buy them. Are they on anything? They're not I on think any... there's a couple on Netflix. Okay, I'll have to check there. Um, I, so we're we're in your we're in your your living room, which is why you can hear the air conditioner in the yes. background. We're not we're trying not to kill ourselves this week, right? Um, we're we're not we're not sweating our balls off like we usually do. But I, I I'm I'm looking around and I'm 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 thinking we should we should talk about some of the things that we see here. I, we've never recorded in your living room before. Yes, we have. We used to record in the living room all the time back at the old place. I know we never recorded in it's this the living same room. Same shit on the I, okay, but 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 it is it. 
Yeah. Is it the same shit? It's similar shit. It's just in a different location than it was last Doesn't time. Doesn't that make it new shit? No, it's the same. Well, there's 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 some new shit. There's there's um uh, Bowser and Mario both in uh, in in Tux and, and Tails vying for. Uh, is that is that Peach? Yes, okay. Th- that's I think how I haven't started playing it yet, but that's how Mario Odyssey starts. Oh, that, that uh, Bowser kidnaps Peach again. Who thought that would happen? I, I no, certainly not me. And he's trying to get her to marry him. Mm. She? Then, do you think? Yeah. That seems strange. I I I, I, just, I, I gotta I, like they haven't thought that through all the so, way. So I I don't imagine you want like the the plot to be that. Bowser is trying to force himself on Peach sexually. Well, I, so like the, I, I, but I think there are the, some the, folks the, out there on the internet who have probably gone down that road. The in, in their friendly, fanfic. the friendly way of of putting that plot together mm. is trying to get him to for or getting or him forcing her to marry. Him. As right, but, but if we think about what if you you brought up our current vi- pre- vice president a, a couple of minutes ago, if we think about what the what the point of marriage is, right? What a what a woman's place is, it's it's to you know. Woo-hoo. Um, and I just think I think um, uh, oof, Bowser and 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 Peach that, that that doesn't look. I don't think that would like genetically work. It's yeah. not like like a a, a donkey and mm. a, and a horse. Oh. Making a mule. I mean, these are two. He's a he's a lizard he's man. A, he's a turtle, right? Turtle lizard guy turtle or lizard something guy. like that. And yeah. she's a human. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you think? It, what, what? What about the? What? Is she and Mario? Could that? Could that happen? Yeah. I mean, he's a little short, but you yeah. Know. Yeah. Per- perfect height. He's not that short. <laughs> Well, you know, there's a, there's a, uh, what was, uh, not Jen Trinan, it's, um, oh my god, I'm forgetting, Tracy Bonham. Tracy Bonham has a, uh, has a song, I think it's called, uh, Behind Every Good Woman, and, uh, she talks about, uh, seven men at perfect height, seven noses pink, and it's all about the seven dwarfs and how the seven dwarfs are, you know, just the right height. Aha! Uh-huh. But I, I guess you're right that Mario is not that short. But I'm looking at Mario here, and, and I think, He's, he's he's about height for motorboating. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. If he if he got on his knees, he'd be the he'd be the perfect height. Maybe down on one knee. That's how he proposes. I you know I I'm gonna I, let you sit with that, Chris. <laughs> um, I mean, sh- she would have a hard time saying no if 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 he proposed while uh, giving her cunnilingus, right? I mean, I, I, I think, I mean, if, unless he's terrible at it. I'm sure there have been less romantic ways that people have proposed. <laughs> what would be one of those ways, Steve? I don't know, Chris. At a baseball game? Yeah, on the kiss cam. <laughs> that has always seemed like, a, I don't know. A, I, a television I, trope and not something that actually happens. I mean, yeah, I, but I'm sure that it does actually happen. I just, it seems odd to me. I would if I, if I was the uh, if I was the guy that like ran the kiss cam at any sort of ballpark, mm-hmm. I would constantly put two guys or, or two <laughs> gals like on there and yeah. just like hope that they do it. Hope that they, yeah. but, you know, it's 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 uh, they probably do that in San, San Francisco. They no, I want to do it everywhere. Everywhere, I want to do it in uh, in uh, in Iowa, in Trump country. They don't oh, have baseball in goodness. Iowa. Well, at least not major. Did I tell you? Whoa! Did you? Oh well, I don't want to get you started. Nah, whatever. It, it, it's just, it's just as an, when we were in Washington D.C. You mean the District of Columbia? The District of Columbia, the uh, our nation's capital. Mm-hmm. Um, we were walking around, and one of the the, the most horrific things I, I managed to see was the president. <laughs> well, I did not see the president. Thank I, God. I, di- I did try to flip him the bird from a, a long distance. You did a subtle bird. I did, I did a subtle bird. Um, no, but we were walking past. Uh, it turned out the the Trump Hotel, um, in uh, or a Trump property of some sort. In I mean, because that that seems like, that seems like something that is completely above board. Oh yeah, is that our president owns a hotel in the town where he governs? Mm-hmm. And and here's where the where where the terrible part was. Uh, this uh, husband and wife um, with their child had the child pose up on the steps underneath the Trump awning. And took a picture of him there, smiling for the for the camera. Like that, this was the photo opportunity, not in front of the White House. I mean, maybe they also did that, but their one of their photo opportunities that they had to get 
was their child standing under the the Trump awning. I mean, like, I, I don't want to like get super started, but it mm. it just makes me just I don't get it. I don't get how he's duped so many people. You have more faith in humanity than I do. I I have I mean yeah I have I have long thought that we live in a in a country of dummies, um, and no, but like and, like and, if you and look and at the, like uh, everybody says because he's a great businessman, he bankrupted a casino. <laughs> How does one do that, Steve? I don't know. <laughs> How does one bankrupt the like casino? Like you fucking. Unless, print and money and in unless a you, fucking unless casino. you stole George Clooney's girlfriend, um, you know you're you're. Basically, you constantly rake in cash at a casino. Mm-hmm. Like, there are occasions yeah. where one person will go on a run, mm-hmm. and you are like, we need to get this guy drunk and or <laughs> out of here. Right. So he starts either A, losing money, yeah. or B, can't take any more money from us. Yeah, those seem like the, the, the option. But maybe maybe Mr. Trump is such a friendly guy. He he just let all the high oh, He rollers. seems so friendly. I'm, I'm just saying, you know. But yeah, he, there's so many. It, looks like he could, it seems like he could have a beer with him. He doesn't drink. I, I know. But that's what they said about uh, about W. That was, uh, that's, a, that's a W. Well, thing. W at least. You could have a beer with W. I mean, you know, if it was 25, 30 years ago. You could have had some crack with him. I don't think he did crack. I think he did coke. <laughs> I think that is my thoughts. That mm. is not something that I know. Okay. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. Yeah. I, it's, I don't, I don't mind like people not drinking, mm-hmm. but it's weird for somebody of that status to never drink. It is a little odd. It's a little odd. You know. Because, when he makes shitty mistakes and he's made fuck tons of them, mm, that's made a, all made on, a couple today. That's all on him. Mm-hmm. He can't blame anything on alcohol. No. Nope. 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 All right. So let's change the let's subject. Let's change before the I subject. Get so actually um, angry. Uh, yeah, let me. Speaking of America, but but the but the nice side of America, we um we decided to go and take our kids on a uh, a mini road trip. Not a not a road trip like we did a couple weeks ago. Um, but there were a couple things sort of south and west of Boston that they wanted to do. They had always wanted to go to the American Girl store, um, which is a particular type of, of doll. I, okay. I, yeah. Didn't know if I, you were right. Well, had, I, 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 I've heard, I actually don't, I'm not 100% sure what they mm. look like. Okay. Well, they're, they're, they're way overpriced. No um, shit. Uh, cute dolls that you can buy all sorts of accessories for and whatever. Do they have like the real doll versions of them for the adults <laughs> to bring it back? Maybe that was what was in the uh, in the back room that I uh, that I, I saw all the dads sneaking into while uh, while their uh, their children. No, no, they don't have that. No, they probably have a poker room. Yeah. Um, no. So uh, we want they want to go see that. They'd always wanted to go to IKEA, which is down in. I don't. I don't ask me why. They always want to go to IKEA. Um, and I had been wanting to go because uh, it's been years since I've been by the stadium. To Alex's in Stoughton, no. obviously. <laughs> I had my wife and children with me, Steve. No, that is not. What Just I- drop me off here, Steph, uh, <laughs> and you guys go to IKEA and get <laughs> Swedish meatballs that the kids won't eat. Um, no, I had always wanted to go to uh, Patriots Place. I had not. I had not been there um, uh, since. Since I don't know or I, I, I had not been by the stadium. Uh, in, in a very long time, so that was going to be where we where we ended up. This so did you go to Red Robin or something, and or Saturday. the no, Margaritaville, or because we no, because we ate our lunch at IKEA. We had Swedish meatballs. Did you did the kids actually eat them? Um, let's see. No, Kaylee had chicken tenders, um, which they had on the kids' menu. Melody had meatballs, but with no gravy on them. Okay. Um, so she did eat them. Wow. But uh, did, and I did had they get lingonberry uh, sauce? I, yes, and I ate. I think I ate everybody's lingonberry sauce because it was amazing. It was so good. Um, and uh, I was I'll, really. I'll have I lingonberry was, pancake. I was really drinking in my my Swedish uh, Swedish roots there. But so we went to American Girl. That was fine. There was a woman there who um, red who, hair. No, <laughs> it's an older woman uh, whose daughter apparently. Now this is uh, so that's in Natick. Um, and her, 
Uh, Road right. trip to Natick, which is probably um, about 10, 15 minutes away from right. here. So uh, at, at, we also, I, sh- I forgot to say, the first... It's probably more like 20, but... Yeah. The first stop on our road trip was a drive by Steve's house. <laughs> you drove by here? <laughs> yes, there, uh, we were driving down a, a road. I don't want to say which road. We were driving down a road that would take us from our place to Natick. And I said, oh, by the way, they're uh, over that way. Is, is Steve's house. And they said, why don't you take us by there? And I was like, all right, I hope he's not stalking me on Find My Friends or he's going to be like, I, I was on, why are you? I was a little bit yesterday to see what the heck you were up to before yeah. I texted you and you were yeah. in Nashua. Yeah. Um, Did you get your tux fitted? No, no, I was. You were uh, exactly there. I Yeah, no, I was at, um, we had gone to see a movie and then we stopped at the McDonald's because the kids wanted. Oh, okay. Um, so you were, you were a little across bit further the, across the street. Yeah. Um, so at any rate, so we drove by, we drove by here. This was on, uh, on Saturday. And I was like, I hope he is not looking at where I am. And he's going to text me and be like, why are you, are you at, at my house? house? <laughs> um, went to America. Well, we were, we weren't here for part of the day Saturday. Oh, okay. So we, so yeah. Um, the woman at, at American girl, apparently her daughter had the, ch- had the chance to go to prom with Chris Evans. I was wearing my, my Captain America shirt. And she came up to me, and she knew the answer to this question, but she asked me anyway. She said, is that Captain America? And I said, yeah. And then she proceeded to, she was a very lovely woman, but she came up to us two or three times to keep relating more parts of the Chris Evans story. Um, like, she was so proud that her, uh, her, her daughter uh, almost went to prom with Chris Evans, but, but didn't because she didn't want to get tied down. Oh. Um, and... Yeah. Uh, and now uh, they have a, a son-in-law who they absolutely adore, but they tease him by buying him um, Captain America memorabilia. Yeah, Captain yeah. America went to school, or uh, Chris Evans mm-hmm. uh, went to school in Sudbury, Massachusetts, yes. which is not too far from where we are right now. Yeah, and apparently not too far from Natick. And uh, what was it? My former uh, landlord slash roommate mm-hmm. went, actually went to high school with him. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if she went to prom with him, but I remember <laughs> she, she was the one who went when when this uh, other woman's daughter wouldn't go with him. Yeah, I don't know. Poor, that, poor that, that, who knows? <laughs> I, I think I think she would have told me if, if she did, <laughs> because uh, she she was out during the holidays at a party and mm-hmm. and he was home for the holidays yeah. visiting family and he he went to this party and yeah, yeah. and uh, you know it's it, I guess it's less weird mm-hmm. when you know somebody growing up yeah. that you see them or whatever. Right, and then I think your brother and it was over when she came back, and uh-huh. so we were all hanging out. And yeah. she goes, "Yeah, I just saw Chris Evans." And <laughs> John and I were like, "What? <laughs> Why didn't you invite him over?" <laughs> She's well, like, I, "I don't know," and I'm like, "We could have fucking hung out with Captain America." <laughs> <laughs> the um the the woman's final um uh, final bit on it was the or she somewhere in there she slipped in that he's still he's very nice to his mother. That was she. She wanted to let me know that. That was very important that I know that he is still very nice to as if he was bad to his mother at some point. He, I don't think that was the case. No, I don't think it's he's, the case. I think he's just really I, he's close to his family. Yeah. And, you know, they, I think it was his, his uncle mm. is uh, running for off, or he he no, currently holds I not, office. I did not know that. It's Mike Capueno or whatever. I guess. I think. Yeah. You can, you could you know, I think Matt will probably know better than me. Um, but yeah, he, he, he is running or already, mm. already is in a position either in the Massachusetts legislature or the, the, yeah. Yeah. I, th- I think that makes sense. I mean, Evans, one, one of the only things he, he occasionally he'll tweet about like uh, charitable causes or whatever, but he tweets a lot about politics. He is. Uh, he is an unabashed uh, liberal Democrat ma- uh, mass hole. Um, yeah. So, um, anyway, so then we went to IKEA. IKEA was was fun. Uh, checked out some Swedish stuff. Uh, lots of furniture. Was completely overwhelmed. It was too much stuff. Yeah, um, there's it's a it's crazy, and you, yeah. you 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 can if you follow the 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 just mm. the the arrows around. Yeah. And don't take any other shortcuts. Yeah. You're walking for a while. You're yeah, walking yeah. for a couple of it's, miles at I, least. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, so then we decided to go to Patriots Place, and and I was excited for this part. And we we get there. We're we're driving into Foxborough, and I suddenly see lots of lots of signs. I'm like, well, the Patriots aren't playing. Like, what was why it? Are Revs all these Revs game. <laughs> yeah. So we get there, and all of a sudden we realize there's a fucking Revs game, 
And well, they're not that popular. It doesn't fill up the uh, entire parking no, lot. No, but it. But I just we went was like kind of exhausted. At this another point. John and I went on uh, on my birthday one year. He mm. got me tickets to the Revs, and it was the only yeah. time I've ever been inside Gillette Stadium was right. to see the Revs. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, it wasn't super. It was like the middle of the summer because that's when mm. my birthday is, and right. Know, it was. It wasn't that busy. Well, it's it's not that it was that crowded. It's just that it was. I, like we were going to go into the retail section, which I think is how you would get to the the Hall of Fame. Or I I was very confused as to where to go. We we did the whole trip very impromptu, so we went into the retail section, and I was gonna stop at least long enough for stuff to go to the bathroom, but um, because everyone was feeling a little worn out, and I had to ask a guy. I'm like, C- can we park over here? He said, you're not here for the game, are you? Um, as if I was trying to get out of paying for parking. Um, and I said, no. yeah, you cheapskate. I said, no. So he, he let, he, he let us park, but we ended up deciding not to go. And we just, uh, we just drove away. So it was a bummer, but I'll so get there eventually. You, you, you got in to park, but you decided not to park. That my family didn't want to get out of the car. It was basically what it came down to. Like I, I was so, ready to park and, and go in and check things out. But at this point they were, uh, between American girl and Ikea, they, they were done. So basically from all the things that you did. Yeah. Um, the only thing that you wanted to do mm-hmm. was the only thing you didn't do. Right. Okay. <laughs> this, is, just... this is the, the plight of the dad, Steve. I don't, I don't know if you're aware of this. Um, or sometimes the mom, you know, uh, or, or both parents. It's just, you know, you do whatever everyone else wants to do, and then... And then you feel unfulfilled and sad. I didn't feel that unfulfilled and sad. I made a funny moment for my, my daily video out of it. Um, and, uh, and, and, and all was, all was fine in the world. I'm just saying, Chris, mm. like, not only should you watch some non-comic, not that comic book movies are bad. <laughs> we just talked about Car- Captain America and how awesome he is. Yeah. Um, watch some non-comic book movies, some great films of all time, maybe. Okay. Uh, and do something. For myself? Yeah. Okay. I will try. That isn't masturbating. I don't want to masturbate anymore. My, 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 you, here, okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, Steve. I have overshared in the past about my troubles with, 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 uh, with sexual relations while on the medication that I'm on. I'm here to tell you, Steve, that since I've stopped masturbating, those troubles have gone away. Oh. Wow. So. Who'd have thunk who'd it? Who'd have thunk it, Steve? Who'd have thunk it? So. I don't, I'm not, you know, uh, maybe, uh, may, maybe I will only have had that, that, that subscription for one year. Maybe it'll be canceled uh, uh, after that, that year and is so up. so your students won't have to say, we know Clark. <laughs> we know Clark. Yeah, they, they won't have to say that. I have to teach. Um, You're take, teaching a summer course? I'm teaching a summer course with high school students next week. Oh, God. And I have to sign this. Um, Thing uh, that you're not going to touch them? <sighs> Well, there's. A, I'm sure that's in there, but the other thing I have to sign. <laughs> I hope it's not. Is, it, does, it doesn't have to be explicit. Yeah, well, it might be. That you're there's, not there's supposed to touch kids. <laughs> there's, there's something in there about. Um, uh, oh gosh, was, I, I've read so many documents. Oh gosh, there's, there's something in there about um, hugs. No, was this was this not talking? Anyway, there, there's something. You in should there just about, give them drugs, not hugs. <laughs> there's something in there about physical contact. Oh no no no! There, the conference I'm going to in the uh, in the fall uh, has a bit in their code of conduct about. Um, you're gonna you're gonna probably go off on a rant about this. Uh, not just no uh, unwanted hugs. Um, Obviously, in 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 real life, but you are not allowed to use. The, the hug emoji in their chat rooms or whatever if somebody if there unless somebody has specifically told you that it's okay to, to e hug them I, I, I don't you know so I w- I don't know how the hell you get to a point where you, you where somebody tells you it's okay to no 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 I, I'm just a, mm. like unwanted hug yeah okay so if I go like this, and I'm like, bring it in, or whatever. Yeah. And you don't. Right. Then you've successfully averted being hugged. Right. But if you go in uh-huh. for the hug. Yeah. Is it unwanted? 
Um, wait, if who goes in for the hug? If I, like, I'm the one who wants the hug. Right. And and you come in, you're like, I would begrudgingly f- hug. Okay, so I, listeners can't necessarily see the what, what I was just doing. opening so my you, arms wide. You were opening your arms wide. You were not, With like, arms wide open. <laughs> you were not moving forward. You were, you were offering yourself up for a hug. Right. Um, but you were not, so I think what you did, and I, maybe That's I'm how wrong. I think hugs should happen. Right. I think what you did would be perfectly uh, admissible, but uh, Admi- I, what is this a courtroom? <laughs> I don't uh, acceptable. Yeah, that okay. seems like a better word. <laughs> um, I think what you you did is is perfectly perfectly acceptable. But if I went in to someone and just embraced them without their permission, without that's their permission, an that's that's no, that's a no go. Okay. Anyway, so I had. I just wanted some clarity. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, it's the, dumb the, that you can't use a hug thing. And can you put a kissy face or like I, a poop? I don't know. Like if, we don't want to be you, talking about feces here. I think if you get, I think it's all about accepting other people's boundaries. Or I, anyway, there, there's a whole bunch of stuff I have to review for that uh, that conference. I mean, it's just basically be a good human being is what. Can you give a thumbs up one? I think you give a thumb, give a thumbs up. But so for the for this class I have to teach, there is a bunch of paperwork I have to sign. But the the biggest thing that is cramping my style is that I, a lot of the stories that I traditionally teach have. Um, S-E-X in them, Steve. And I am not allowed in any way, shape, or form um, to uh, have students read or be exposed, have the high school age students be exposed to S-E-X. You could say... In any, in any, in any shape uh, or form. You can, so. you can just say the word, sax. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They are not allowed to be exposed to, uh, to, uh, to, to saxophone. <laughs> I, I wanted to remember the name of, uh, of Bruce Springsteen's saxophone player there. That was going to be my, my follow-up joke. But I There was a band in the 90s called Butt Trumpet. Was there? Yeah, I remember, uh, I remember being sort of interested, but never mm. really caring too much about them. Interested because of the name, Interne- probably? Interested because of the name, but okay. I don't think... I, if I, let me look up to see if I can uh, find trumpet, any of their find a, songs that I actually If they are available to. at um, uh, on, on the Apple Music. That would be interesting if you could find some butt trumpet. Anyway, so I've been going through my my um, my syllabus and looking for, uh, for for stories that don't have any mention of, of sex. Uh, and I think I found, this is a five-day course, I think I've found five stories for us to... Uh, to, to check out. Okay, I found Butt Trumpet Band. Butt Trumpet Band. I think I just said Bunt Trumpet, um, which is uh, the name of Bill Buckner's... Uh, no. Um, I don't know why. I, 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 yeah. Songs like, I'm ugly and I don't know why. <laughs> and I've been so mad lately. These are, these are the... There's a song called Kill Yourself. Oh, okay. Uh, I left my flannel in Seattle. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a, 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 a comedic band. Primitive sorts. Enema. Mm-hmm. Kill All the Hippies. Oh, that's definitely something you should do. If, if, they, if we'd killed all the hippies back then, Steve, I don't think we'd be in did the position where we like, Did they have today. even a hit? Uh, I don't know. I, I feel like I had heard of them before you mentioned their name just, just now, but I might be wrong. I might have been thinking of Butthole Surfers. Yeah, no, it was not the butthole surfers, but it was, I think along the same in the same vein. Why was it that the butthole surfers album cover had an ear with a pencil going into it and not a butthole? Because I don't think they could do that. They couldn't I, have a butthole with a pencil going into it. I remember there was an episode of The Simpsons where the mm. the Flanders uh, were in a, a, a shelter. Uh, it was either Rod or Todd was mm. wearing a Butthole Surfers t-shirt <laughs> that, that was they, way too oversized for him. Oh, that they picked up from the shelter? Yeah. Okay. That's, um, you know, Electric, electric Larry Land. Was Why the, the fuck do I remember shit like that, Steve? Because, uh, you know, you were a children, child of the 90s, I suppose. I was heading for the 90s. Uh, heading for the Wild Wild West. No. Living, living, I, was, li- I was living in the Wild Wild West. Yes. God damn it. Screw wiki, up wiki. everything. Screw up everything, Steve. You like, do. Like, like I, I knocked over the fucking water at the beginning of the show. Yes. Chris spilled water everywhere when everywhere. we first started. We had, we had a good opening going. We, we, <laughs> did, did, did we? <laughs> speaking, of, oh, speaking of openings, uh, you, you went to a Jack and Jill. What the fuck? <laughs> 
<laughs> we got about 10 minutes left, and I wanted to give you time to talk about your your, your Jack and Jill at the Incredibrew. Um, now, I imagine this was not a tie-in with The Incredibles 2, which I just saw yesterday. No, it was uh, Incredibrew is a place up in Nashua, New Hampshire. I don't know if it's a chain or whatever, but they... They do little things where you get together and you brew a beer and it's ready mm. in a couple of weeks and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and I realized very mm. quickly because of the times where a friend of the show and uh, and person who's been on the show mm. uh, on more than one occasion, Ryan, mm-hmm. uh, he and I have brewed beer before right. and at his house. And, you know, it's usually us standing around a pot outside mm-hmm. while the water boils and doing right. all the beer stuffs and, yeah. you know. It basically started started off by making beer tea. With mm-hmm. Like you get the grains, you put it in a sack. Yeah. You dip it in in a big old pot of hot water. Mm-hmm. And then you you know you do a bunch of other stuff. Add malt. Add some hops, depending yeah. on uh, what you're gonna do with the beer. Right. And um, yeah, you put it in a container. Put some yeast in and, and wait. And wait. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's the Cliff's Notes version of making beer. Okay. Uh, I was thinking, I mean, I'm going to, uh, that's how I'm going to make beer this weekend. Okay, do for it. For the first time ever. I'm just going to use just exactly what you just said. Yeah, you don't need any equipment or anything. No, no, I just got to dip my, I got to dip my balls in, um, in boiling water. Right. Uh, dip my sack. Dip my sack in boiling water. Yep. Um, and then, uh, don't try this at home, kids. And then. Because I don't um, want you burning your ball back. And then that, that turns my, my pee into beer. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I just pee into a cup. Did you hear t- anything <laughs> that I fucking said? <laughs> I heard something about a sack going into boiling water. Okay, so we, we've we done that uh, on more than one occasion and, mm. uh, and you know, made some pretty good beer. Do you, put, do you and Ryan both put your sacks in the boiling water at the same time? So, what I'm saying is making beer is, a, is basically... To maybe a three-person job. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. in third person isn't doing much. Okay, they're supervising. Yeah, or just doing an occasional, like, thing With that hops? requires an extra hand, maybe. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, there was so many of us to make t- two, basically, mm. batches of beer. They were I, Since it's a Jack and Jill, you got men and women. Men and women there, mm. and there, there was basically... The guy that was running it was doing most of the work. We were occasionally okay. doing a thing. Mm. He was just telling us what we needed to do, yeah. and then we would just do it. No, it was... It was, um, was it fun? Um, I mean, it's, it? kind of, it's kind of fun, but, but, but you're really... You're realizing that it's fun to like be around people you like right. and talk mm-hmm. to them. Yeah, but um, when occasionally you get interrupted by having to do a task. Mm-hmm. Wh- but the thing, uh, wh- what I liked it, what I liked about making Ryan, or beer with Ryan, mm-hmm. is that it was just like us, the two of us needed to do all the things. Because right. So like you know it was required. And so Ryan knew what he was doing. Yeah. And the things that he couldn't do, like, because maybe he didn't have enough hands or whatever, mm-hmm. I, I helped out with or, right. or whatever. And, and, you know, while he's pouring in the malt, I'm mm-hmm. stirring the liquid so it does so the malt doesn't stick to the bottom, get, right. get all burnt up. Mm-hmm. So it gets all mixed into the fucking liquid or whatever. You know, things like that. Right. That where it's required and you're, you're not... Uh, it's not getting all fucked up. Mm. So it was like teamwork and, you know, good. But like the I think if it was a smaller group, maybe it might have felt like more of like a team building kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. Not that what Ryan and I did was team building. It was no, just but friendship building. Friendshipping. And um, yeah, I don't know. It was just too many cooks in the kitchen. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. <laughs> Um, have you been to a lot of Jack and Jill's? No, it's it's I my um. Who was <laughs> I don't know it why there? I said it. Like, no, <laughs> <laughs> there's somebody who was that? So, uh, my cousin maybe? I don't know. There was somebody who had a, who got married recently who had a Jack and Jill, and I. Um, it had been so long since my parents had been to one. They didn't know what the what the protocol was either. And like so Be- if, Becky's having her her bridal shower this mm-hmm. weekend, and I yeah. I am not going. Okay. It's it's not a it's not a uh, co-ed event. I mean, I could go. Okay. I mean, it, it's not like I'm banned from it, mm-hmm. but it's not something I think I will in any way enjoy. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, yeah, that's it, uh, we did um, we did separate things back when when I got married. But I think we could have just as easily. Um, all did you do separate out. things for like things like that, like for like a bridal shower thing? Because um, you don't usually have a gro- groom's shower. Oh, wait a minute, a no, I was shower there. an hour show at the Fuzzy Grape. I did go to the I did go to the bridal shower. I was the one that had to try and get her there, and then they, I was gonna leave, but then they kept me around, because they had two chairs under the, uh, the big bell, or whatever, and then, then they sort of, like, some photo ops, they kicked me out off into the corner, but for a lot of it, uh, I was, I was there. Yeah, there's a, there's a pinball tournament this, this Sunday, which is the day of the, and I think I'll, I will just go to that instead. Yeah. Or just be exhausted, because I will have gone to an amusement park the day before. Which amusement park? I'm going to Six Flags. Oh, ooh, you're stepping it up. Not just Canopy. Well, I like Canopy, so uh, it's uh, the the work outing that I that I missed last year. Mm-hmm. Because uh, if you recall, about a year ago, this time mm. we did uh, I think a very uh, short. No, we did the uh, the 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 actual flashback episode mm-hmm. because I had just gotten my teeth pulled out of my head. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And I was in no mood to talk for an hour. And, and no mood to go to Six Flags. Well, yeah. I it's I because I, I got them pulled. I think on a Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And then uh, it was a Saturday that it was uh, it was fun time. And okay. Yeah. I yeah. Yeah yeah. I I I've only have I ever been to Six Flags since it's been Six Flags. I was there when it was uh, was it River Country Riverside that, Riverside yeah I remember um, your I think when your dad worked at Digital yeah there was some way uh, back in the day there was a work outing yeah something there Usually, I remember when my my mom worked at Purity Supreme mm, best the, name for a grocery store ever or I like I I've I've sort of contemplated trying to find like a Purity Supreme T-shirt <laughs> that would be pretty good I I well even if you could find a high resolution logo you could probably print your own yeah print my own yeah, yeah. like the ps yeah ps with a heart yeah uh i remember our our workout or her work outings there were typically at whalem park that where you'll be, have a whale of a time yeah, that that makes sense I, I i i can i can get with that given that i also worked for purity eventually. if you if you guys want to go into like a nice youtube hole <laughs> Go find, like, uh, like try to find some ads of, like, Purity Supreme mm-hmm. um, and, uh, and, and fucking Whale Park. Park. I, I think you should also uh, try to find the Fudgy the Whale Fudgy ad the Whale from, Carvel. From Carvel. <laughs> uh, that and maybe Child World. Like, all, <laughs> all the stores and fucking places we went in the 80s. Yeah. Like, they just came out with a with a kind of uh, viral, not viral, but a kind of not a trailer, but an ad for Stranger Things season three, uh, Does featuring it have Cookie Puss, <laughs> featuring the is it, what's it called the Stargate Mall. I don't know some some sort of mall that's now opening um, in uh, whatever uh, Hawkins uh, and. There, I don't think you see anybody except for Steve, and he's working at the uh, at the ice cream stand near the very end of the video, and that just came out uh, today, I think. Is um, it a Dairy Queen or is it no, just no? Like a I local think local jerk. Every yeah, I think it's a local jerk because everything else was a um, was mostly a now defunct '80s brand, like including Walden Books and like the, the toy I forget which toy place it was any uh, Sam Goody and stuff like that but then they had a an ice cream place that I my guess is the ice cream place might actually be part of the story uh, based on the fact that it was kind of a local uh, I, uh, local joint do you remember paperback booksmith I do I bought that was, that was uh, some in the of my Chelmsford Mall if we're gonna go nostalgic right some next of my to Bradley's first, I went, some of my first books there and uh, my fir- one of my first playboys there later on in life before wow. it closed <laughs> before they, they well they, they, I mean it closed I, well I, I think the mall closed were the mall proper and now mm. it's just a strip mall yeah uh, the mall proper closed I think in sometime in the late 90s yeah it makes that sounds right because I remember going to the mall. Mm-hmm. Uh, was it Sofro Fabrics that was there? That sounds right. Or was it Joanne Fabrics? No, it wasn't. Jo- I think because I think Joanne was. So- you had that somewhere else, and I didn't see a Joanne Fabrics until later. So th- it was definitely like something like so- Sofro. Sounds right. I could never say it quickly. And that's why I said <laughs> it so incredibly slowly. Yeah. Sofro <laughs> Fabrics. <laughs> 
<laughs> Did they have a music store in there? I can't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, if it no, was, it was a Strawberries. They... Oh, okay. No, but they had a Strawberries in Drum Hill. That's right. Yeah. No, the stra- so the music store, you had to go to a different part of town. The bookstore was in the mall and Child World and Bradley's and Channel, right? Channel Hardware. I don't remember that one. Channel Hardware was not... Uh, oh, my God. Anyway, this ch- Channel Hardware, as I recall, was not connected to the mall, but it was down on the other side of Child World. Where the Staples Where is? the Staples is now. now. Okay. So, like, the, there We're was- getting fucking <laughs> local for you, kid. <laughs> but Channel Hardware... Uh, ha- ha- hardware. Uh, I, th- I think it was Channel Hardware. Anyway, I think I recall like relative whether it's my dad or my uncle going in there, and then like I would sneak over into Child World while they were doing shit. You know, this is, this is a great great watching, time to be alive. Watching back in the, the in the eighties before you had Prime Day. Watching a panda roller skate around the store. That's that's the ticket, Steve. Hey, you know you know what else would be the ticket? This uh, show being over. Yeah, and if my fucking ear would, uh, I got like an ear infection or something going on. Uh, and it's my ears closing up, which is just fun. Uh, no, what would be the ticket is if somebody would leave us a, a, a five star review on the Apple Podcast. Yeah, leave us a five star review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you consume the podcast. Yes. Uh, and uh, send us an email if you uh, liked what we talked about, if mm. you didn't like what we talked about, if you want us to talk about a topic. Mm. That we will probably get horribly off. Yeah, or just a hot topic. Yeah. We could talk about more stores that are now mm. defunct. <laughs> I, think hot I don't know why. Still, like, that's I think what, Hot Topic still exists. No, I'm, but I am talking about Bradley's and Caldor yeah. and all the... Like, I don't know why talking about old department stores makes me, like, happy. <laughs> like Leechmere? Yeah. Yeah. I bought, uh... Yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, send us an email to hot at clarkwoods.com. Uh, leave us uh, leave us uh, reviews because uh, you know you want to throw us throw us a buck or two you know we got a donation link there in the uh, in the show notes yeah you can um, you could donate to the show and uh, you can contribute to Chris's Patreon my 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 Patreon my Patreon <laughs> as they say um, yeah you can you can help me afford to go to uh, the XOXO festival and uh, what is that that's a, it's a an interactive um, Arts and uh, Tech and Culture Festival in Portland, Oregon, September 6th through something. Um, but, but before that, September I got... September 6th? That's around when my bachelor party's going to be. Oh, Jiminy Christmas. You're fucking kidding. I, I, I'm not kidding. What the... F- You're not going to be here for my bachelor party. I don't party. know. I don't know. Do I have a date? I don't think I have a date for that on my calendar. We'll Le- figure it out. Leo didn't... He probably did. I have to, I have to go look. Oh, you crumb bum. <laughs> Going to fucking Portland, Oregon for my bachelor party. Oh, my fucking lord. Um, but uh, th- this uh, this Wednesday, I'm going to be at the Silver Unicorn in... Um, that sounds like a fucking strip club. <laughs> I'm going to be at the Silver Unicorn bookstore in Acton. Uh, uh, Where doing, the fuck is that? It's off of, uh, off of Mass Ave. Um, just, it, just a little ways away from here. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, uh, is it and, where like Willow Books used to be? No, it's the opposite direction. It's 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 like uh, the opposite direction. Okay. 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 Anyway, I'm I'm doing I'm reading poetry there. From it's, your bad poetry. From my book? bad poetry night book at uh, 6 p.m. At, at Silver Unicorn. All right. Well, meet, you can come by and meet, meet Chris and like get his autograph and mm. buy his book. Yeah. <laughs> Plural. I'm in trouble. I think I'm in trouble. I I I, I may I, I don't I don't want to miss your bachelor party. I don't know, man. It'd be bad. If it, if if it would be fun for you to go to your festival, then that's okay. Okay. I did I did spend like five hundred dollars on it so already. So yeah. all right, well, and and a plane ticket and the show. Ah, I'm in so much trouble now. <laughs>